am in my room right now. I wanted to film this video. It's been another month since I've uploaded. I've got pneumonia. I have been in recovery mode, all drugged up, trying to get rid of that. Pneumonia sucks. So, and I was sick at this same time last year, but with a little thing I like to call COVID. And yeah, last year I had COVID. This year it was like a flu. I got tested for COVID like three times and it wasn't COVID. Anyways, that's the reason I've been missing in action. I guess not in action. I have, I was laying low there for a few weeks. I went to training again for the first time this morning and I am destroyed. That's why my hair is wet because I took a shower afterwards. So I'm fresh out of the shower. Oh, one other thing that has changed over the past month. Let me just turn the camera and show you, okay? So, you can't really see it because I have a blanket right here, so move that. Here, I have this giant, like, duffel bag. Very heavy. Um, carry some very important items. This is, this is going to be my life now. He gave us mannequin heads. Um, obviously it's not a real person. That would be very scary. I did curtain bangs on this girl. And we gave her a little trim, and then I ran out of time to style it. What's the deal? What made you decide to go there? It's obviously a whole different day. I just sat down and was editing this video and realized like I failed at explaining anything about that situation. Um, I just held up the mannequin head. Didn't really go into much about that. So I just started hair school. <laughs> literally hair school i want to incorporate a lot of what i'm doing now um and like the whole process into the channel this channel these videos somehow so yeah get excited for that lots of hair content for you whether you like it or not while i'm here i'm just a little reminder if you want to give this video a thumbs up do it um no pressure but also if you want to subscribe subscribe yeah anyways that's all i have to say I'm focusing on this a little update for you I want to um like go through my stuff and get my room organized and stuff so i thought i would show you that process and my dad sent me a podcast he always sends me podcast recommendations most of them are like i've listened to a few that he's recommended they're really good he sent me one about russia's um government i love my dad but i was like anything else please okay that wasn't that interesting okay i'm someone who is easily distracted when i'm trying to like complete tasks um turn on like an hour-long podcast episode. I'm standing in my closet and I am going to start organizing in here and do all of the other shit that I need to go through um, that just is like cluttered and it's like an organized mess. Little update for you, people of the internet. Officially, the time has come and it is time to start getting ready. So, like, I made a dent in my organization. Boxes, these things, these things, like a quilt. I just have never slept under a quilt before. Don't like the texture of it, so I just shove it in my closet. Basically, like, all I did right here was I just switched out all the hangers, and I got it nice and color-coded as I was going through and um, deciding what I want to keep and what I don't want to keep. The most important part is this. And then over here, too, it's, like, really satisfying. Like, this dress I wore once in Miami, it hasn't gotten any action since that, literally. The dress was too short to begin with, and I will never wear it again. So it deserves a better home. I'm, I'll have 50 minutes here. We're in the bathroom. Not bad. The Dyson makes it really easy though. It's kind of like a little cheat because it has like the nozzle at the top to help control the airflow. I just finished my last workout of the year, which is so exciting. So I just treated myself to an almond milk. Not bad. Nothing too crazy. Um, weather's been very gloomy, and then it's cold. It's like 59 degrees. 
and I feel like an absolute egg right now. It's New Year's Eve, and to be honest, I have no plans. Maybe like, are you going out? What's your plan? Nothing. There's a chance I might go to my friend's house later, and that should be fun. I'll give you a little haul, show you the things I got at the mall. On a mission to find a face mask because I wanted a new one. The only one I have is a charcoal mask and my skin's been dry. I wanted one that's like nourishing, moisturizing. I'm sorry, professional YouTube moment. Youth Preserve Rescue Mask. Preserve my youth because that's what makes me fun. So it needs to be preserved. And then as I was walking around the store, I came across the new Gucci line, this bronzer. Nice and matte, but also very hydrating. It has hyaluronic acid, so it goes with the whole theme. I ended up going in and getting one thing. It was actually like laying on the floor, and it was the last one, and so I had to get it. But cream colored sweater, and I think it's gonna be cute. I wanted to show something, a little project I've been working on. I created a little 2022 mood board basically like inspiration for what i hope this year has in store and yeah anyways it's just this year's been insane and i feel like actually a lot of people are saying that which i felt like i was the only one who felt like this year was weird proud of where i'm at mentally one of my goals for the new year because i have thought of a few but like one of the ones that I think is doable is to put more energy into this, like my blog and creative stuff because it makes me happy. Anyways, I'm probably gonna light a candle. Maybe finishing my room a little bit more organized and cleaning out my drawers because I folded everything and have it nice and organized, but I have way too many things. 